I just tried to uh, upload a review um, and it didn't go through, which is probably for the best because I was a complete wreck. Uh, the, the, my intention is to uh, review Huckleberry Finn, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. This is one of the best books ever written. I think it's terribly important for an American man to read this book. I read it when I was 20 and it had a profound impact on my life. It's one of the great friendships ever documented between Jim and Huck. Huck's father is uh, a drunk and abusive. Uh, I don't even think he has a mother. And uh, he has to get away to save his life. You know, I read this book at a time that I didn't have a father myself. And, um, you know, I, I was doing theater uh, in North Carolina at a time that, you know, I was really, uh, really on my own. I felt very alone in the world. But I had Mark Twain and I had that book and I would go out every night after the show and I would read that book under the, there were apple trees and I would pick apples and eat apples. There was a light uh, lamppost and I would, I would read the book under the lamp and, um, you know, what makes the book uh, taboo then and now uh, is the N-word, the, the pro, uh, profuse use of the N-word. If you get lost on that, that's, that's unfortunate because uh, you're, you're missing the book. That book is very uh, attuned to its time, at a time in America with terrible racial uh, problems, and, um, and yet... Really, it's just about a boy growing up. Um, uh, there's a lot of humor. Uh, the precision of the language... Melville could do this, too. He did a little bit of it in, in Moby Dick, just a little bit. But really, um, Mark Twain, right, he, he captures language the same way, with the same precision of, like, a Mozart, you know... And Andrew Lloyd Webber, you know, someone who is exact about every single note. It's the same with Mark Twain. It's one of the great books ever written. And certainly one of the most important. I mean, it's hard not to cry when I think about it because, um, uh, you know, the things, um, uh, there's one scene um, in the book where Huck has to decide whether to turn Jim in. Because he's a runaway slave, and you know Jim's trying to uh, get get north so he can uh, get money and and buy his family and uh, bring his family into freedom. And there are just some conversations between those two that are very moving. And um, I thought I I thought I wasn't going to cry when I did this, but um, it's just very important for an American man to read this. I don't know that a man from England would get it, you know, the, the problems of our country, the race relations, the, the, the serious, deep, deep-rooted uh, 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 psychological problems we had from the 19th century, which were inherited from the 18th century, which were inherited back, 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 it just, and, and we're dealing with it today. At the end of the day, it's just a book about a young man finding himself, and, uh, it's terrific. I hope you get it. Uh, I would not recommend reading it in public. Um, if you're a softy like I am and prone to cry, uh, best read it in private. Uh, I guess that's it. I hope you read it. It's uh, it's it's one of the the gems, the, the 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 most important books we have in our American canon, really.